portlet faces bridge is a portal bridge. And a portal bridge is a framework or uh, some code that is designed to bridge the difference between the portlet API and lifecycle and the framework or technology that you might be using to write your portlets in. Uh, in the case of the portlet faces bridge, what we're discussing here is um, being able to bridge the portlet 2 API and lifecycle to the Java server faces or JSF uh, 2 lifecycle and by extension the ice faces 2 um, features. So what the portlet faces bridge allows is you to write your ice faces 2 JSF 2 applications and allow them to run uh, seamlessly without any uh, code changes on your part and allows them to run inside of a, of a portal 2 container. The Portlet Faces Bridge provides a way for developers to deploy their ICE Faces 2 applications inside of standards compliant portals like LifeRay. It's an open source project that developers can download from portletfaces.org. It also comes bundled with ICE Faces 2 and the LifeRay plugins SDK. It's the first bridge built with JSF2 in mind. It's inspired by the JSR329 Portlet Bridge standard from the JCP, but whereas the standard is focused more on JSF 1.2, we had to do some innovative work in the bridge in order to bring out the power and the feature set of JSF2 within the bridge. Because there's a mismatch between the Portlet 2 API and lifecycle and the JSF uh, life 2 lifecycle, you can't really run JSF2 applications as portlets without some sort of bridge. And of course this means you also can't run Ice Faces 2 applications uh, because they are JSF2 applications. You can't run Ice Faces applications as portlets without a bridge. So the Portlet Faces bridge fulfills this requirement uh, that's, that's needed in order to run any kind of JSF code as a portlet. The bridge basically provides support for a platform that Ice Faces wouldn't have otherwise. Uh, it also does it in a very uh, clean, separated way. Rather than integrating a bunch of portlet or portal related code within the IceFaces product itself, uh, the bridge clearly delineates the line between these technologies and, as I said, executes the JSF lifecycle within the portlet lifecycle. And so it, it makes it much easier for developers to create web apps that can be converted to portlets. The bridge is designed to work in any standards compliant portal, but we've spent a lot of time ensuring high performance within LifeRay. Uh, the first release of IceFaces EE is going to feature support for LifeRay and WebSphere portal and also WebLogic portal. Because we're working so closely with the port that faces bridge developer is that we've been tuning it to really run well with IceFaces. So when you look at supporting features like Ajax Push, Director DOM rendering and the uh, you know the uh, AJAX updates that IceFaces can do for you without you know that transparently happen uh, without you having to to write any code or change your front end uh, markup. Um, those features are seamlessly uh, provided to you when you use the bridge, so you don't have to do anything else or change your code in any kind of way in order to take advantage of running your code in a portlet. Portlet Faces Bridge makes that very transparent and easy, and it makes the separation between your application and Ice Faces and the, and the portal container uh, very clean and, uh, as, I, as I noted, very transparent. The bridge supports Ajax Push with the help of Ice Push, and the use case for Ajax Push within a portal is typically interportlet communication, uh, also known as IPC. Now, JSR329 provides a couple of different ways to do IPC, but it's, it's kind of old style, a full page submit, post back and refresh. Ajax Push IPC provides more of a server centric type of interportlet communication, and it doesn't disturb the other portlets that are on the same portal page. Actually, with Ice Faces 2 and the Portlet Faces Bridge, it's all, all the requests are now standardized within the Portlet 2 and the JSF2 API. Um, we ship a number of examples, a number of examples with the distribution that show Ajax Push working in portlets. So you can look at the component showcase that comes with the Ice Faces 2 uh, distribution or the, our new uh, advanced component file entry component. And there's even a little dedicated chat example in there. All those examples 
um, use the Portland Faces Bridge and Ajax Push and, and show what you can do within a Portland uh, and how to take advantage of Ajax Push within your own Portlands. I'd recommend developers visit the portlandfaces.org website and click on the link for the Portland Faces Bridge. From there, they can click on the examples link or the examples page. It has links to demo portlets and, and also source code. I'd also recommend building and running the examples that come with the Ice Faces 2 distribution. There's a page at wiki.icefaces.org that has additional information, and it also has some links back to the portlandfaces.org website. First place to go to the Portland Faces Bridge would obviously be the portlandfaces.org website. However, um, we have a close association with the Portland Faces Bridge developer, so uh, Ice Faces 2 ships with a tested release of the bridge that comes with our examples. And we also have the wiki.icefaces.org site where you can go to get uh, more documentation on Ice Faces 2 features like Ajax Push as well as uh, links back to the Portland Faces uh, website for uh, information on the Portland Faces bridge itself.